Please, leave me alone. Mom ran down the dark corridor, looking for a place to hide, turning every doorknob that she came to. Finally, a door gave way and she crouched in a corner, but it was too late. Stay away from me, stay away. Hey, I'm Anastasia. My friends call me Anna, but my parents call me Stay away from me, or Leave me alone. Okay, I was being a little dramatic at the start of the video. Mom wasn't actually scared. This is how it really played out. Mommy, can you read me a bedtime story? Please, leave me alone. Go ask your dad. Daddy, look, I was outside playing and stepped in the poop, see? No, stay away from me. My nanny looked after me mostly because my parents were super busy with their careers, and she always called me miss, so I thought my real name was Stay Away From Me. It wasn't until my first day of kindergarten that I found out I was wrong. And what's your name, sweetie? Stay Away From Me. Excuse me? What did you just say? Stay Away From Me. <gasps> Next thing I knew, my parents and I were sitting in the principal's office. Sure, I got into trouble, but at least my parents used my name more after that. And when I was four, something amazing happened. My sister Isabella was born, and she was beautiful. Oh, I have the most beautiful daughter anyone could ask for. I was so bummed by what she said that I stuck my tongue out at her. But I got over it soon enough. I finally had someone to play with. Or so I thought. You see, Mom didn't want me near Isabella. Shoo, go away. But one night, Isabella couldn't sleep and was screaming at the top of her lungs. I crawled into her crib and began to sing her lullabies. And soon enough, she was sleeping peacefully. I felt like the best big sister ever. But we never had a shot at getting close because of the way my parents treated us. They were less busy with work now and spent all their time fawning over Isabella and spoiling her while completely ignoring me. You know what I see in the mirror? I see two beautiful girls with unlimited potential. Uh, Anna, how long have you been standing here? I was here first, brushing my hair. You didn't even see me? They'd whisk Isabella off to the mall or spa, and one time they even took her to Paris while I was stuck with the neighbor and her nine cats. It bothered me a lot at first, but eventually I just kinda got used to it. But my my parents were slowly turning Isabella into a monster who bullied them and threw a fit any time she didn't get her way. She would try to boss me around too, but I mostly wouldn't give in, which didn't sit too well with her. Like this one time when I was in fifth grade, I was eating spaghetti and she turned to me with a weird look in her eyes. Spaghetti and worms taste the same, don't you think? Well, what? My stomach churned when I looked on my plate and sure enough, there were worms mixed together with my spaghetti. When I told my parents, they told me it was a harmless prank. Every time Isabella did something to me, they would make excuses for her and brush it off. Even the time she cut my head out of all the family pictures. She's too young to know what she's doing. She's just having fun. Lighten up. The weekend before middle school, I bought this super cute outfit for my first day, and I couldn't wait to put it on. But when I was getting ready, I couldn't find it anywhere. That is, until I entered the kitchen, and there sat Isabella in my outfit. Fit. Isabella, that's mine. It looks better on me. I look like a doll. I rushed over to Isabella and tried to pull my outfit off of her when mom dragged me away. Anna, what are you doing to your little sister? I want her to take off my clothes. Oh, is that what you want? You should have said it nicely. And then she took a pair of scissors and cut herself out of the dress. Oh my God, you're such a psycho. Mom, aren't you gonna say anything? Yes, if you knew how to share your things, you could both enjoy them. But now look at what you made your sister do, Anna. I could pull my hair out. There was no winning against this brat when she had some magic spell cast on my parents. As I grew older, I just avoided my family as much as I could and faded into the background. I decided to focus on what I loved best, singing, and I became quite good at it. But I only realized exactly how good I was when I was 16. Two months before high school started, I'd taken up a small gig at a cafe to sing occasionally, and when I was done, a stunning lady approached me. Hi, I'm Gigi. You have a beautiful beautiful voice. I'd like to sign you up as a singer. What? Y you want me? Yes. I could make you a star. It was an offer I couldn't refuse. I gave Gigi my address, and when she arrived at my house later that evening, my parents were quite surprised. Ooh. And Isa looked so jealous. W why would you want to sign her up? Because she's talented. But her looks can be altered to look the part. W what do you mean, altered? By the time my people are done with you, you won't even recognize yourself, kiddo. The following week, I went to the studio with Gigi, and I felt like I was in a dream. And after rehearsals, Gigi's makeup artists took over, and she was right. I barely recognized myself. I looked amazing. When I got home, Mom 
looked shocked. Oh my god, Anna, you look stunning. My heart flipped with excitement. Did my mother just give me a compliment? As stunning as a chicken in a jumpsuit. Later that week, Mom took me shopping. In fact, over the next two weeks, Mom and I spent a lot of time together. We went to spas, dinners, and we even spent a day in Paris. I picked up a few things there for Isabella, but when I went to give it to her, she dumped everything on my head. You think you're better than me because of this music gig? Your days are numbered, witch. Did my baby sister just threaten me? I was too busy to think too much about what Isabella said. I worked hard and released my first album. And by the time I started high school, I was already famous. OMG, her skin is flawless. She's such an amazing singer. I can carry your books around, but life just had to give me lemons. And this lemon was Mandy, the meanest and richest girl in school. She transferred to our school the year before and was the most popular girl around. But clearly, I dethroned her now because I had way more fans and social media followers than her, and she just couldn't handle it. Others may have forgotten how ugly you really are, but I'll never forget, and I'll make sure the others don't either. I tried to ignore her and just enjoy my newfound fame. But of course, Mandy did everything to ruin it. This one time after gym class, she filled my body wash with oil. Another time, she filled my bag with live frogs that went crazy in the science lab. She was a lunatic. And then one afternoon, while walking through the mall, I saw Mandy and Isabella together. Mandy was shoving a dress into Isabella's hand and looking over her shoulder. Wait, was she trying to get Isabella to shoplift? I stormed over to them immediately. Mandy, what are you doing with my sister? Mind your business, Anna. She's my friend and way better than you. Isa, she can't be that good if she's trying to get you to steal clothes. You're coming with me. But Isa bit my arm hard and ran off. Stay away from my sister, Mandy. But after that, I'd see the two of them together all the time. If they wanted to run their own Anastasia hate club, then fine. I had better things to focus on. Like my very first concert that Gigi has arranged to boost album sales. On the night of the concert, my family came to support me and I was so so excited. I grabbed the mic and stepped onto the stage confidently, and I was totally owning it. Everything was going great until someone from the crowd screamed and pointed at the chandelier above me, which was falling down. One of my guitar players threw himself at me and managed to get me out of the way seconds before the chandelier crashed on stage. Before I could even process what had happened, Chi-Chi whisked me away to get me checked up at the hospital. But as I was leaving, I spotted Mandy's face in the crowd. I couldn't get rid of the thought that she had something to do with this incident. Incident. But would she go this far? She was acting like a lunatic lately, but I had no proof, and it would be useless confronting her. A few days later, I came across the opportunity of a lifetime. There was one spot open in the most prestigious music college, and they'd be visiting the school in three months to hold auditions. I just had to get that scholarship. You can drool on that spot all you want, but it's mine. Gosh, why was the world always putting Mandy and me against each other? She played the piano, and she was good. Like Beethoven good. I couldn't let her win this. I threw myself into practice. After rehearsals with Gigi, I'd stay back in the studio and practice for my big day. One evening, while I was walking home from practice, I was passing by the bakery when I saw Mandy stuff two loaves of bread under her jacket and sneak out of the bakery. Mandy was the richest girl in school. Why was she stealing food? I followed Mandy until she went into the bad part of town. The houses were small and shabby, and I watched as she entered one of them. What on earth? I needed to know what was happening. So I walked up to the door and was about to knock when I heard a familiar voice. Isabella? I told you already. I'm done with this. I'm not doing your homework, shoplifting, or going out of my way to be your puppet. Isabella was making Mandy do stuff? <gasps> Feeling shocked, I pulled out my phone, opened the door by an inch, and started recording. What I heard next made my head spin. You'll do as I say, or I'll spill your filthy little secret all over the internet. I am so sick and tired of this. Tell everyone. I don't care. <laughs> you the oh-so-popular Mandy not caring what people think? Are you really comfortable with people knowing that your father is rotting in jail for fraud while you and your mother are left with nothing and living in this rat hole? I find that hard to believe, given how hard you've been trying to keep up appearances in school. I've done everything you've asked me to do since you read my diary and discovered my secret. You made me tamper with the chandelier at Anna's concert. She could have gotten seriously hurt. I should have never agreed to do it. It's been giving me nightmares. But if you don't do as I say, 
say. I'll tell everyone what you did. Oh yes, I recorded it. And then you'll go meet Daddy in jail. Do your worst, Isabella. I don't care. I watched in horror as Isabella picked up a bat and raised it at Mandy. I flung open the door and lunged at Isabella, knocked the bat from her hand and pinned her to the ground. Get off, you ugly jerk. Did you completely lose your mind? What have I ever done to hurt you? How could my own sister hate me so much? Because you overshadowed my life. You should have never been in the picture, and I'd do anything to bring you down. Isabella lunged at me with a scream, but the commotion had attracted the attention of some neighbors who came running in and held Isabella. Someone called the police, who took her away kicking and screaming. I was still reeling with shock when Mandy turned to me. You, you helped me? Why? We may have our differences, but I couldn't let Isabella blackmail you or hurt you. Thanks, Anna. No problem. That's what friends are for. Friends? Are we friends? Maybe we could try. Crazier things have happened. My parents' world turned upside down when I showed them Isabella's video. They decided to get Isabella evaluated, and they were told that Isabella had some problems. She was taken to a facility to get the help she needed. I've been pointing out Isabella's issues, but you've always just let them slide. If we'd gotten her help earlier, things might have been different. Anna, we're sorry for not treating you both fairly. We're starting to see how our actions have affected you both. We want to do better. Can you forgive us? It's gonna take some time, but maybe going to therapy together could help us improve as a family. Hearing this, my parents nodded their heads in agreement. At school, Mandy and I even smiled at each other. Finally, the day of the big audition for the scholarship arrived, and I saw Mandy backstage looking super nervous. I don't think I can do this. You can and you will. Break a leg. Thanks. You too. Oh, I'm not auditioning. I thought I should give you a fair shot. Oh, because you think you're better than me and I have no chance against you? <laughs> no, because I think you'll beat my butt and I'd rather not be humiliated. And you need this more than I do. I'll be cheering for you though. Mandy gave an amazing performance that received a standing ovation and she won the spot. I learned that showing kindness to a rival can turn a bitter battle into an unexpected friendship.